Alberto, yes? can you take me to 438 East 12? Sure. To the actual site in East Village. I've been working on a big project, Steiner East Village, for about six months. The building is still under construction, so I've been selling at a big, huge sales gallery in Soho. Now I'm gonna go check on the construction site for the first time in months. This is my neighborhood, I grew up here. You, you grew up in East Village? In the East Village. How long have you lived in East Village? Over 50 years. No, wait, what? Over 50 years. Alberto has been my driver for two years now, and he's so professional that our relationship is a bit one-sided. I mean, he asks me questions, but he doesn't really ever open up about his life. We used to go to Cats on Houston Street and get our pastrami sandwiches, our corned beef sandwiches. It's real New York. Yep. Do you live alone? No, I live with my mom, who came here in 1947. And she has really seen it change then. And she's really seen it changed, yes. She just wants to make sure all the old timers don't get pushed out of this neighborhood. Right. Because we can all live together here. Right. I don't want to pretend that gentrification isn't there. It's there, it's real, it's a real issue. The fact is, and I acknowledge that, that people from all kind of income levels actually have an issue in what I do for a living. And some of the criticism that people make is that New York is becoming a playground for the rich. And I think that the criticism is fair, sometimes. Let's talk about meatpacking, which is a neighborhood where gentrification completely changed it in just a matter of few years. Back when I came to New York only 13 years ago, it was kind of dangerous. It was kind of run down. They really cleaned up this neighborhood, which I like. Right. It's safer, not so many drugs, and uh, you can walk around again. Right. But they're buying out all the buildings and all the poor people got to move out.